Hey guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about Zapier in this video. And what Zapier is, is Zapier at its core is just a way to connect two softwares, okay? So you're running, you know, you're running your own business, your own digital marketing business or whatever it is, and you're running tons of different softwares, right? Maybe you're running Facebook ads and you're running an email autoresponder like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign. Maybe you're running ClickFunnels or WordPress for your website. Uh, all kinds of things that these businesses are using, right? Salesforce, things like that. Well, a lot of times you want to connect those two softwares. You know, you want when a lead comes into Salesforce, you want maybe an email notification to come or a text notification to come to one of your employees. Or when a lead comes through Facebook, you want it to automatically start emailing them things. Lots of different things you might want to do. You might want something that happens in this software to make something else happen in this software. And obviously the softwares are two totally different companies, so they don't necessarily get along. That's where Zapier comes in. Zapier connects softwares, okay? It basically has triggers in one software that make something happen, and then it sends it to another software and makes something else happen. So I'm just gonna show you an example so it makes sense to you. What I'm gonna want is I'm gonna have a Google Sheet, okay? And every time a name is added to the Google Sheet, I want it to go send them an email from my Gmail account, okay? And so the way I would do that is I would make a Zap. So Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R.com make a zap okay and like I said there's a trigger and an action so there's one software that something happens and that triggers uh, and some that triggers Zapier and then Zapier goes into the other software and makes an action happen so let's go to Google Sheets I'm gonna click Google Sheets you can just search there's hundreds of softwares and it says well what happens in Google Sheets to trigger this And I'm gonna say as soon as a new row is added to my spreadsheet I want it to trigger Okay, and it says which account, and I'm, I've already linked my Gmail account, so it's fine. You'll, you, it'll ask you right there if you haven't linked how to add. Okay, and then you'll go to select all your spreadsheets. So it's going to load all your spreadsheets in order of when you've used them. So you'll click one, and it'll say what sheet. And typically, at least in mine, I only have one, but you might have 20 sheets in your spreadsheet. Okay. And it needs at least some information in there to do a quick test run. So I'm going to have it do a test run. There's definitely information. It says, okay, yep, that sheet worked. I connected. I was able to see information. Then it goes on to the action. Okay, I have this Google Sheet. Now when something happens, when someone's added to this Google Sheet, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to move them to Active Campaign, my autoresponder, or MailChimp? Do you want me to put them in ClickFunnels, which is basically my website? Uh, do you want me to post about them on Facebook? Lots of things you can do. Let's see if we can do something with Gmail. Oh, Gmail. There's the option right there. So I'm going to say Gmail. What do you want to do? Well, I want to send them an email. Cool, right? So now when, whenever someone adds a row to that spreadsheet, it'll automatically send them an email. It'll say connect your Gmail account. And I already have one right there. And you'll need to give it permission. Zapier is very trustworthy. Okay. Okay and save and continue we're just following the steps here right okay and then we'll set up some stuff here so it says well who do i send an email to and i can click here actually and i can identify in that spreadsheet i can say hey there's actually going to be an email address in the spreadsheet that i'm referencing i want you to take that email address and this particular spreadsheet i chose right there there's a there's a header called email so i say i want you to go to that spreadsheet and take whatever they enter in the email column Okay, I want you to CC me. I would put my email right there. I want you to say from Spencer or from Buildapreneur. I want to say from Spencer. I want a subject line of welcome aboard. So maybe people are getting added to that spreadsheet through Facebook leads or something like that. Choose a body type and then I can write out my email. Hey, and actually I can even add their first name. Look, there's a name right here. Bing. Hey, first name, comma, thanks for expressing interest, okay? And then I write out the whole email, obviously. And I can attach something if I want. Click continue. It'll run a test. I don't want to actually set this up because that is an active spreadsheet and it will actually do something. Anyway, so you'll click continue. And then your zap will, actually the zap starts us off. So I will click continue. If you have your sheet spread up right so there is email addresses in there, then it will work. Okay, and then I would click finish and name your zap. And we're going to say um, sheet to responder or sheet to Gmail. And then I would turn the zap on, which is what I'm not going to do. Boop. 
and we'd be done, okay? So let's kind of review what we just did. Zapier connected two softwares. They're kind of similar in this particular Zap, but I could connect pretty much any software you can think of that's mainstream works with Zapier. So what happened is I took this spreadsheet, this Google Sheet right here, and, or not, this Google Sheet right here, <clears throat> whoop, and as soon as a new row was added to that spreadsheet, so it could be manually entered, or I could have another Zap that's adding rows to that spreadsheet, as soon as a name and an email address and someone's information was added to that spreadsheet, Zapier is going to take that information, and it's going to go into an email, and it's going to send them an email personalized with the name that they entered. Uh, it's going to send them an email and say, hey, here's all the stuff that you wanted. It's going to send it from my personal Gmail account, just like I set up, and I'm not going to have to do anything, okay? So it's totally automated. That's cool. That's cool, cool. Um, so this is cool stuff, and Zapier is pretty much essential if you want to take time, you know, if you want to automate any part of your business. Every business I've ever worked with has used Zapier uh, in some way or another. So it's a really, really cool software. Um, now, you're watching this video, you're either watching it on YouTube or you're watching it in one of my courses. If you're watching it on YouTube, head below, I've got a link to a group. And when you go to sign up for that group, I'm going to give you um, not only a course on how to use Zapier, but tons of cool stuff. Now, if you're in that course right now, welcome aboard. Here's your intro to Zapier, how to automate your business. Uh, I hope... Uh, I hope there aren't too many questions. It's a fairly simple software. There might be questions about individual zaps that you do, but as a whole, every single zap is very, very similar. You got a trigger and you've got an action and you just connect two softwares and make it happen. So thanks for watching. Spencer from Builderpreneur. Um, have a great day.